Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for taking your time to watch my videos. From the morning of December 27th, today, a minor earthquake measuring uh, a magnitude 3.3 on the Richter scale struck northeast Tehran province, Iran. The epicenter was near the tarm town of Arjamin in the uh, province of Far Farajak County, about 80 to 100 kilometers northeast of central Tehran, at a shallow depth of around 7 to 10 kilometers. So that would be about 6 miles right there. Residents in northeastern suburbs like parties reported light shaking, but there was no report of damage or injuries. The small event recorded by Iran's Seismological Center served as a subtle reminder of the ground's relentless um, you know, activity beneath the world's most seismically vulnerable mega cities. And that would be Tehran, which is off. Let me bring it out. Off right over here. Not far from where this earthquake occurred. Here's the 3.3. And this is in fact Tehran. Tehran is home to over 10 million people in the metropolitan area, with daytime populations swelling even higher because of people going in for work. It lies within a crossroads of tectonic turmoil. The city is hemmed in by active faults, including the North Tehran Fault, which I have drawn out here on the bottom in red capable of producing a magnitude 7.2 to even a magnitude 7.5. So stick with me. I'm going to dive into what this earthquake and future events may bring for Tehran and Iran. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Larry and Chris, who have recently gave me some donations. And thank you to all of the, those of you this last year have sent in donations to support my work. You are all angels of God doing his work. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I hope all of you had a very Merry Christmas, and I hope everyone has a very Merry and Blessed New Year's. I hope next year is going to be um, not as bad as what it was this year, but I suspect it is going to be. Besides the North Tehran Fault, which is capable of producing a 7.2 or a 7.5, we have the Mosa Fault, which is capable of having a magnitude 7.7. .7. And the South Ray Fault, that's actually part of the same fault zone there to the north. These are driven by the relentless northward push of the Arabian Plate against the Eur Eurasian Plate, compressing and fracturing yeah, the uh, mountains in that location, which is the Alborz Mountain, which is the backdrop or uh, Tehran. They can see that from the northern skyline. Historical records paint a grim picture. The last major earthquake to severely impact Tehran occurred in 1830 with an estimated magnitude of maybe a 7.1 to a 7.4 along the uh, Mosa Fault, which is drawn out in red, and I'll bring this out. They've had a lot of large earthquakes. The closest one here was in 1957, a magnitude um, 7 or la larger. It actually created a tsunami for the Caspian Sea. Let's see, I'll bring it out more. There was also earlier events, such as 855 AD quake that devastated ancient Ray, now um, the uh, southern Tehran area. Um, that killed tens of thousands of people. And seismologists note that destructive quakes strike the region roughly every 150 to 200 years, placing Tehran in a seismic gap, as they call it, that is now overdue. Many of Tehran's buildings, especially older structures in the dense southern districts, were constructed without modern seismic codes or proper enforcement studies, including uh, collaborations with Japan, GICA, and um, other associations predict 
um, hundreds of thousands to millions of people could die in a large earthquake uh, close to this location. Just days before this recent 3.3 earthquake, uh, the head of Tehran's Disaster Mitigation Organization stated that a quake above a magnitude 6 could cause losses uh, far worse than any war. Tehran is a city living on borrowed time, and hence building retrofitting, stricter codes, and public preparedness are critical. Small quakes like this one are a wake-up call, nature's way of hinting at the big one that could redefine the city's future. It has been 195 years and 9 months since Tehran's last major earthquake that occurred in 1830. So if they have a major earthquake every 150 to 200 years, yes, they're definitely in that time frame for a large and devastating disaster. To the north in 1990, there was a magnitude of 7.4, um, but it is in a seismic gap that makes this really potentially dangerous to live in that area or to work. And with a population of, you know, millions of people that swell during the daytime for people going there for work. Yeah, it would be very, very devastating. Yeah, interesting that they said that uh, the death and destruction would be far worse than any war. Yeah, and they just made that statement recently. Sending prayers. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everyone has a very merry and blessed New Year's. I hope everyone had a blessed Christmas. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.